Uh, this is a demonstration of the new Telluraves Raptor 200 VTOL aircraft. Um, this is uh, a Arduipilot uh, controlled vehicle being developed by the South African company Telluraves. And uh, it's quite an interesting vehicle. It's a little different to uh, the previous VTOL vehicles. So what you can see is it's got uh, four rotors. Uh, the front two rotors are in a fixed orientation facing down. They have a, a slight cant, however, five degree cant. The rear motors are vectored. So uh, the rear motors tilt up and down. And of course, so that gives us uh, roll control and gives us uh, pitch control like that, as well as having the V-tail uh, sort of uh, tailorons, I guess you call them, or V-tail um, uh, elevator rudder combination. And uh, so it gives it a really quite good performance in VTOL flight. So I'll just uh, demonstrate what this looks like. If I put it in something like uh, Qloiter, uh, then what you'll see is that all four rotors then uh, give upward thrust, but it still gives um, your control via the thrust vectoring of the rear motors. So I'll just uh, arm this and and do a uh, a little bit of a takeoff here to see show you what it's like flying. All right, so there it is, just holding position, and we'll we'll zoom in a bit and have a look. And so it's uh, sitting holding position there by the runway, and if we yaw it around a little bit, you can see the action of the thrust vectoring on the rear rotors, and uh, that's how it gets the the yaw control. Uh, these types of thrust vectored uh, your vehicles tend to have um, good control and good transition capabilities. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just show a, a full auto mission. Uh, it's the same sort of mission I've shown for several other aircraft, uh, VTOL aircraft of this type. So I'll just uh, uh, reset it there and uh, disarm and so reset to the normal starting position, and I've got a little mission set up here around the Eli Field uh, location in Real Flight 9. And so what we're going to do is pop it into auto mode and then uh, arm the vehicle for doing a, a quick circuit. So it'll do a VTOL takeoff, transition, come back and a, a VTOL land back at the starting position. So it's the VTOL takeoff, now transition to forward flight, and the rear rotors start tilting forward. There is a slight twitch there when it starts the transition, which would be nice to remove. Very smooth transition. These vectored planes tend to do very well on the, on the transition with the new transition code that's coming in Arduipilot 4.1. Coming up to the uh, base leg. Now turn on to final. And now it'll start slowing down. We'll just watch the, the height gain. There is about a meter or so of height gain and a little bit of oscillation there. Interestingly enough, I don't get that roll oscillation when I'm not recording video. It's slightly annoying that uh, you end up with oscillations when the, the frame rate drops a bit when you're recording video. But uh, so then it comes in for a VTOL landing. And so the motors are all facing up now, so it's descending. And landing. And now it'll it'll disarm. But anyway, that's an introduction to the Telluraves Raptor 200. I think it's a very interesting vehicle. Um, it, it doesn't have any ailerons in this version, and that's something that uh, that they're uh, deciding about with, because it actually flies quite well without the ailerons, just with the um, the two control surfaces on the V tail plus the the vectored motors. Um, but aileron would obviously give it sharper control, and that's one of the things that they'll be experimenting with as to whether they want ailerons in the final vehicle. Uh, it does simplify the vehicle somewhat not to have the ailerons. 
Uh, so many thanks to Brandon McDougall for the modeling of the vehicle, the, the, the 3D modeling. And uh, thanks for the opportunity to work with Telerives to, uh, to create a, another very nice ID Pilot model. Happy flying.